Hey everybody, in previous tutorial we saw how to create a database and insert data using PHP files. In this tutorial we are going to see how to implement this on Android platform. So let's start. We will be working with the Volley library, so make sure you implement this dependency. Okay, go to the main activity layout and uh, we are going to insert a few edit texts here one for the first name, one for the last name and one for the age then we are going to have two buttons one for inserting the data and the other one for listing the data and also we are going to have a text view in which we will list our results <laughs> go back to main activity and uh, declare these variables also we are going to need the request queue because we are working with volley remember after this reference these variables into the onCreate method also let's just add two strings for our URLs that contain a location for our PHP files so string insert URL and paste your URL for inserting and and here I am using my local IP address because I will be testing it from the virtual device. One more string for receiving the data. Afterwards, let's initialize our request queue for the volley. So request queue equals volley dot new request queue. We type our application context and then just simply set on click listener for our button called show in which we will do request for the listing our data from the database so create a new json object request like this and don't forget to type post as a method because we used the post in previous tutorial type our show url and create these two listeners response listener and on error response listener then what we want to do is to read our response remember that our response is in JSON format and that we have an uh, JSON object that contains an array of students so let's create a new JSON array for our students by typing JSON array students equals response dot get JSON array of students then we are going to access individual objects by going through the loop of students so let's create a loop and create a new JSON object called student JSON object student equals students dot get JSON object with an index of i then for the each student object we are going to extract first name last name and age like this and we will simply list these results into the text view but first I forgot to reference it so let's just quickly do it in the onCreate method so result equals text view find view by id and then simply type result dot append and we will type our first name last name and age that we have received from the response 
and one more thing that is left is to add our request to the request queue of course so request queue dot add json object request okay let's see if this is working properly so here when we click on show students it loads our data from the database so it is working properly so now we are going to make a button functional for inserting uh, data into the database first set on click listener for our insert button then we are going to create a new custom string request so string request request equals new string request again choose the post method for the URL choose our inserting URL and create two listeners that are necessary and now we need to be really careful here with the brackets we need to open and close brackets and implement method called get params when you override this method you need to create a new hash map in which we will store and send our parameters let's name it just parameters next thing what we want uh, we need to put desired first name last name and age into this parameters hash map let's see an example for the first name simply type parameters.put and for the key we will type first name as a string and for the second parameter we will type the value of it and what is the value of it? value will be the text that we enter into the first name edit text view and you do the same for the last name and age finally you return parameters and add this request to the request queue okay, now let's check the emulator let's just type something random and click on insert student then show students and as you can see it works. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.